Howdy, tabletop RPG fans. Thank you for supporting this channel. I'm Wrangle Me, Grand Poobah of Game Design, and this Reviews Day topic is about Stalking the Night Fantastic RPG. I'm a huge Halloween fan. Visit www.gruesomeghoulies.com and sign up for the Kickstarter. Follow me on Twitter and check out the Kickstarter updates for more creepy fun this October. Stalking the Night Fantastic is also known as Bureau 13 Stalking the Night Fantastic. It is a 102-page, 8.5 by 11 book published in 1983 by Tritac Inc. and was designed by Richard Tohoka, Chris Bating, and Robert Sadler. There are four versions, large RPG zine that I own, spiral-bound RPG zine, and two editions with cartoon illustrations by Phil Foglio. There is now also a D20 version. Bureau 13 is the fictional government agency the players belong to. Any add-on books generally use the Bureau 13 branding. Stalking the Night Fantastic is typical of many RPGs of the time. The stats, skills, psionics, magic, and weapon systems can be overly complicated, making all the crunch a deterrent to new players. It uses polyhedral dice, D20 for combat resolution, D100 percentile for skill resolution, and D20 again for saves. It has two combat systems, a quick kill damage table and a hit location system. Which one you use is up to the GM. Still, experienced RPG players appreciated the depth of skills, psionics, magic, and weapon systems. While the monster section is extensive, each description is brief and puts a lot of the work on the GM to make the encounters compelling. The setting is written completely straight with no puns or breaking the fourth wall. Yet the premise, backstory, characters, and artwork exuded a sense of comedy throughout the book, likely why Foglio illustrated the cover in later editions. The character sheet contains long lists of stats, strength, constitution, dexterity, agility, intelligence, wisdom, luck, charisma, psionics, throw, accuracy, dodge, magic resistance, sensitivity, piety, hit points, and magic. Combat stats are tracked on the weapons unless it is unarmed combat, and then kick, punch, throw, dodge, and brawling punch are all indicated on the character sheets. Skills are listed by name and the level of training. Levels are advanced by collecting experience points in much the same way as D&D. Thank you all for watching this episode. Hit like, subscribe, or ring the bell, or Booger will get you. If you want to see more videos like this, go to hopspush.com and buy an RPG or t-shirt. Do good, annoy evil, and bye-bye. <laughs>